this is Ben with Maracine Travel. I'm coming to you from Shenzhen, China today, outside of the window of the world, and I wanted to give you a few tips about restaurants in Korea. The first thing that I wanted to tell you about restaurants in Korea is that Korea is more of a good place for nighttime people and not such a great place for morning type people. You might as well sleep in because most of the restaurants are not open and most of the stores are not open in the mornings. So uh, many places are not even open for lunch. There are many places that do have really, really excellent lunch menus and that's great value and really, really good food. But many of the restaurants also open at 5 p.m. and then they stay open until 3 or 4 or even 5 in the morning. So they are open 12 hours a day, but it's a very different 12 hours than what we're used to in the West. Secondly, those of you who are from North America are going to be used to people coming over to your table and asking if everything is okay and asking if uh, they can offer anything to you. This is not going to happen in Korea. You are going to have to ask for things yourself. And so on the table, they place a restaurant call button, which acts like a little doorbell and then tells them which table that you're sitting out so they can come over if you need anything. Um, if some restaurants don't have this and you are going to have to call the waiters over for what you want uh, by yourself. The last two things that I'm going to tell you is, uh, number one, there's absolutely no tipping in Korea. You never have to tip under any circumstances and nobody ever tips in a restaurant in Korea ever. And secondly, the water is absolutely drinkable. Um, usually in the restaurants, they put it through a water filtration machine, which, uh, you know, gets rid of all the bad stuff. But even in the house, you can drink the water. The local people prefer to boil the water before they drink it but uh, the worst that's going to happen to you is you might get a little bit of indigestion from drinking it, but absolutely uh, you are not going to die and um, you probably won't even get sick from drinking it unless you're drinking exclusively that, which maybe is not really the most recommended thing to do. So that's it for a couple little tips and differences between the Western culture and Korean culture that you will find uh, in restaurants. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, thank you.